Hey, this is Eddie from Long Island Boaters Club, and this is another edition of On Board. Today I'm in Lindenhurst at Kells Family Boating Center. They're an official rinker dealer, and we're going to find out what's new with the 2009 rinkers. So come on with me, and we're going to check. There's a couple of different models of rinkers. Today we're going to take a look at the 28. I got Tom with me today. He's a rinker dealer. Hi, Ed. How you doing? Okay. And he's going to show us some things on the rinkers. So come on, let's take a look. Over here we have a, 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 a great amount of storage. Uh, these, all these seats here lift up for storage. And you know when you go away for a weekend, you always need to find places to put items. So on a rinker, on this 28 rinker, there are plenty of areas to, to store your items. This lid lifts up here, and this is where we have that gain access to this storage compartment through here, or we can gain this, the access from under the seat here. So those are, those are two compartments here. And then, as I showed you earlier, there's another compartment here that lifts up, and that's how you can get to uh, your, your fenders if you put them in the back door there. Fenders and lines. Well, I know when I'm boating, I always need places to put my ropes and put tables and chairs, yeah. so this is great. That's what I love about Rinker. There's always a lot of space, yeah, storage yes. space. They sure know how to get a, a lot of storage. And you notice plenty of cup holders, lots of cup holders. On this boat alone, there must be about 16 cup holders. And you know, this is your bimini top right here with a camper enclosure. This is standard equipment on this boat, on a, a 28 rinker. We have a screen that uh, gets zippered onto the top, and we have side curtains that go onto this bimini top here, and a front connector over here. So this fully, this cockpit gets fully enclosed. So it's pretty much a camper, camper top. That's right. Yes, so it's camper top. Because it's full height the whole way through. That's exactly right. And this yes. comes standard with the boat. And that comes standard on the 28 rinker. Yes. That's yes. a nice feature. Yeah, yeah. And then over here we have a. A, a cooler over here, a removable cooler. This door opens up here and we can slide this cooler out and you can bring this cooler to the beach. Um, and here we have a, a sink and then a little trash can, which is very important. No longer hanging bags from a, from a rail. Your garbage can is right over here. This is a silverware storage compartment right here. And that's what that's for. And they all have drains on this. It's got a drain on here, so if this fills, this cannot fill it with water. It'll drain it right overboard. Wow, that's a nice little console. It's got everything right where you need it. Got the sink, yep. got the trash. And this is all Corian right here. This is all Corian finished countertop. Here at the, at the helm area, we have a, a VHF radio. We have uh, controls for the spotlight, and we have a, a, a windlass option on this model. This is the windlass controls there, and there's your compass. This is your control for the stereo remote. Note on this 28 footer we have two controls for the stereo. We have one at the dashboard and one at the back of the boat at the entrance to the, to the cockpit area. Um, and here's your, 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 your depth finder and they all have hour meters so you can uh, notice how many hours are on the, uh, on the engine. And uh, these are your trim tabs, uh, trim tab switch right over here. What's nice about the uh, trim tabs that are installed on a rinker, they have lights on them. So when you move the trim tabs, it uh, will indicate what position the tabs are at. That's a nice feature. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times I'm driving a boat and I'm trying to figure out where the tabs are out. Yeah. So you end up pushing it down just to see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, so these, these, these lights will, uh, will light up. And under this uh, uh, helm seat here, this thing lifts up here. So if you wanted to stand and drive the boat, you could, just by kind of standing just like this. And then we have storage under the helm seat. So another great area for storage uh, in this boat. Another nice feature about this helm seat, this is a double wide helm seat, not a single helm seat. Rinker uses a double wide helm seat on all their cruisers because normally you want to sit with the person you're boating with. And that's why this has this double helm seat. Uh, Very nice. So there's a lot of seating here. I can see that too. You got, you got a bench seat over here so people can be up in the cockpit with you when you're driving. That's a nice feature. Yes. Not alone in the back. That's right. So you do have yeah. plenty of seating back here. I see there's a there's a hole here. Is that for that's for a table? That's for a table. That's where a cockpit table goes in there. Yes. Yep. And that table is a, it's an oval shaped table, and uh, big enough to, to to seat you know four or five people in this uh, area of the boat. This is a lot for a 28. What's the overall length on this? The overall length on this boat here is 31 feet three inches. Nice. There's a lot that's going on on this boat. Yeah. How's yeah. the cabin? Was it like? Well, let me show you the cabin. It's got some real nice features in here too. All right. Yeah. Well, we're in the cabin right now at 28, and as you can see, Tom's a pretty tall guy, and he's just there under the cabin. Well, There's the headroom room. in this boat is actually six five headroom, so that's real uh, a nice uh, feature on the Rinker Cruiser. 
all the Rinker Cruises have real good headroom. With high headroom, it doesn't. It's, it appears to be a much larger cabin. Now, up front of here, we have a, a, a table that actually collapses down. It folds down, and uh, it'll make a sleeping berth up here. If we remove this, loosen up that black wing nut down there, we push the table down, and we tighten it one more time, and that table will stay down. And then we put a cushion across this area here, and there's your sleeping quarters up front here. Now, this V berth will sleep two people. So that, that's a nice feature. That actually goes down into the bottom so you don't have to remove the pole and that's find right. some place to put it, let it bounce on the that's side. Right. That's right. That's a nice feature. Yes. Yeah. That's a nice feature. And in storage over here, we have nice storage up here on either side of these uh, these bolsters here, this storage. And then these cushions lift up for storage as well. Now More space. A, this yeah, rink just comes with yeah. space all over. Yeah, we have actually six compartments. We have two here, two in the front, and two on, the, on this side here. So there's your storage under your cushions. And then we have nice storage up here to put items, towels, bathing suits, whatever, up in, on the deck there. For uh, ventilation on the uh, 28 Rinker, we have a deck hatch that opens up. And there's a screen that connects to this rim over here. So, so uh, you can put the screen in here and, and then not have bugs come in. We also have uh, porthole windows that open up. And they all have screens. Now in this boat, there's five portholes. We have two in the V-berth section. We have one at the galley and one in the aft cabin and one in the in the bathroom so those are five uh, five windows here at the galley we have a, uh, a drawer that pulls out a silverwood drawer and then we have storage under your drawer here so there's your storage there and that in the galley and over there it is the uh, the 110 panel over there and that's your 110 panel and that's behind a door that's a real nice feature so it's a, a clean look when the door is closed and then we have one more cabinet at the galley. And there's just your, your storage right over there too. Now the features on the galley, we have an electric alcohol stove and um, you can use this either if you're not plugged into dockside power you can use the alcohol portion or you can use the electric uh, coil here if you're plugged into dockside power. Now do they come with generators or is that an extra? On Generator this? is an option on this boat. Generator is optional. But there is what, there is a spot to put that in. Yes, the generator goes actually in the uh, in the in the engine compartment. Oh, yeah. that's nice to know. Yeah, and this is your refrigerator here. This is a, a 12 volt 110 refrigerator. So this refrigerator is capable of, uh, of being used while you're underway, or at dock power when you're plugged in. So it works on DC oh, current, AC it, current. That's so it'll work with the battery yeah. and charge up the batteries with the with the plug. Yes. yes. And the head compartment over here has a, a manual flush head. Uh, we have a, a shower in here with hot and cold water. Uh, we have a sink and an outlet for your hair dryer. And then a nice vanity storage compartment at, at the vanity, on the vanity rather. And then we have a little storage compartment up top here. Notice the whole head compartment here is lined with a fiberglass liner so everything can get wet. The ceiling, the sides, everything can get wet in this uh, compartment. Now the F cabin area, this is your mid cabin actually, um, and this will sleep two people in here. We have a great amount of storage in this boat and back here. We have uh, two compartments on either side for storage and you have a compartment over there and of course the the last uh, window. So you got right plenty of room back there. Let me jump back there and see how much room that is. Sure. Ah, this is awesome. Plenty yeah. of room to sleep in this place. Oh, More yeah. comfortable over here, I think. Yeah, yeah. And there's storage back there too. Yep, there's your storage back there. That's right, yep. This is yeah. a definite equipped boat that has everything yeah. you need. Yeah. Tom, what if I wanted a little more space? I had a family, I wanted a bigger boat. Do you have anything bigger? Well, right we can move up, but we can uh, jump right up to the 36 if you'd like to take a look at that. Ed. I'd be happy to show you the 36 foot. That's what we have here in our showroom today, the, the 36 foot rinker. That'll be great. Let's take a look at that. Okay. Come on with us.